to more news this hour. Germany, Europe's leading economic and industrial powerhouse, is feared to be sliding into recession. In August, production orders suffered their worst fall since the financial meltdown in 2009. Rory Suchet discussed the issue with Katie Pilmeem, the host of RT's business programme, Venture Capital. They are a benchmark of the health of the economy as a whole. And we know in August uh, they fell by their fastest rate since January 2009, obviously the beginning of the financial crisis. Now, orders were down over 5% compared with the previous a month. Uh, if we break down the figures, then we can see domestic orders down, foreign orders plunged over 8%, investment goods orders over 8% down, and basic good orders as well sliding around 3%. Now, just to add insult to injury, we've got the IMF also expected to uh, cut the growth for Germany uh, for 2014 and 2015 by about 1.5% each. 1.5% each. And ultimately, yeah. as, as you well know, because Germany is a so-called powerhouse of Europe, yes. I, I imagine for, for confidence in the region, it's, it's, it's getting a bit shaky. Exactly that. It's not great for confidence. And that's where everyone uh, looks to Germany for that, that business sentiment, that confidence. And it has uh, weakened. Germany promotes the austerity throughout Europe, but yeah. now possibly not in a position to do so. Kitty Pillbeam there. The slowdown in German industry is sending shivers across the European Union, with Berlin being the main donor for its debt-stricken members. The portion of its loan contribution increased to more than 200 billion euro amid the downturn. That's a huge slice of the EU's total lending capacity. And in fact, John Butler, a London-based investment expert, says the prospects of a German recession are fueling more fears across Europe than in Germany itself. Well, it's a huge worry for Europe because, as we know, in recent years, the European economy in general has been relatively weak, obviously in some countries far more so than others. But the German economy, the single largest economy, has been doing relatively well. And so now that the German economy is slowing, and in fact slowing quite dramatically, that must be of tremendous concern for other European countries. In fact, you could argue they're far more concerned about it than the Germans themselves are. And the sanctions tit for tat with Russia isn't making Europe's economic prospects any better. The president of the Czech Republic said they should be removed because they're already causing a reverse effect. Back to investment analyst John Butler, who believes the protracted war of sanctions is scaring many European governments. Well, this is where the Germans are getting concerned. They're less concerned about what has already happened with sanctions than what might happen. Because if they do continue to escalate, you will get to a point where the German economy is being severely, directly impacted, negatively, of course, by those sanctions. And this is reflective to be honest, probably of a majority of EU countries who would prefer not for the sanctions to escalate any further, and in fact to try and de-escalate from here if at all possible.